definitely doing better than I thought I would be doing on my own. Like I, I know having the stick with me, it's fine because he'll push you and you feel safe because you know that he knows what he's doing. As soon as you're on your own, you're like, ah! <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing better on my own than I thought I would be. <laughs> when we, we walked into the, the dressing rooms um, today, there was a beautiful big Stingway grand piano in there. And then um, for, for all of the rest of the band, it was just like, Oh no, because Shannon would just be playing it all day, just couldn't shut him up. But um, before we came on, we were all standing around it and um, doing a lot of warm-up songs. They always vary. Um, tonight we had some of um, the Eagles, um, some of the... I, I can't, I don't know the name of the song, but um, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sings tonight. As you can tell, we've all got amazing taste. <laughs> To, to be here in Mexican this evening. So thank you for, for staying out all day and waiting for us. It's a, an honor to perform for you guys. This next song we're going to be, play is um, from my new album and it's going to be my, my next single. And it's a song that I wrote about Scotland. Um, obviously with my accent, I'm not from Mexican. Although you might not be able to tell. <laughs> One word was all right. <laughs> it's so lovely to be here. Um, I also heard that we have, um, myself and my band, have broken the festival record for selling out in the fastest time in the festival's history, which is good. And that's thanks to you guys. <laughs> so we're very, very proud to be here. I love Switzerland, but the one thing I hate is that you guys all speak different languages. I always like to speak a little bit of the local, but you come to Switzerland and you're like, God, what is the local? <laughs> I don't know, it changes so often. So tonight I've just stuck with English. <laughs> I thought that was the best thing to do rather than start speaking French and nobody understands me. Or German or whatever, really. <laughs> You, I know you had a big love affair for quite a long time, actually, with the Audi R8. Yes, I did. That was my first true love, before I even passed a driving test. And um, when I was able to buy that car, it was just a moment of, I was sitting behind the wheel and you see the little badge that says R8. And I actually had to say to myself, no, <laughs> no way. <laughs> We're going to strip everything back now and do a, a little tiny acoustic set. What's really bad is that the writing for this part of my set list is in red and these lights are also red. So it just looks like there's a gap. That's better, thanks Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you did a V8, a V10, and then the GT, the GT and yeah. then you did, what, what came after that? After the GT came the Ferrari 458, and that's still with me now. That is fun, because the 458, <laughs> is, 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 are you a big fan of that thing? I am, yes. That was the first time I'd ever sat in a Ferrari, and again, that was a, I still get that moment when I see the little prancing horse and I go, no, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> You said that this was an ambition then to come down here. Or... Oh yeah, totally. Was it fun out there? It was great fun, yeah. Let's play the tape. Here we go. Oh yeah. Good one. That's about 100 miles an hour and. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Ellen, what's your, what's your poetry? Um, I've got an incredibly long tongue, so I can I can just about touch my nose with it. Really? Yeah. It's not it's not very pretty to look. No, let, let's see it though. You want to see yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, there's a technique behind it. Let me get myself signed. <laughs> singing along. You sounded lovely. Beautiful backing choir. I think you guys are struggling with my accent a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Can anybody understand me? Yes? Oh, so you're just very quiet then? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, Obviously the, today it was quite foggy and we couldn't really see the mountains but tonight the fog has cleared and we were able to all see the Matterhorn in the distance and um, I've got loads of photos on my phone but um, when I first got told about this gig my manager actually told me that <laughs> we were playing at the top of the Matterhorn <laughs> and I said I, I don't think so and <laughs> she was pretty adamant that we were and I was like, no, I've seen pictures of it. I don't think that we'll be able to get a stage on the top of that. <laughs> just as well we're not, just as well we're a little bit further down. It's nice to have it in the background, though. <laughs> but I wouldn't fancy being up there and trying to sing. 